Hey, Professor Puri. It is a pleasure to meet you again. Yes, and my pleasure too. I hear that you have been busy with some very complex computer simulations? Yes, my students are doing this. Tell me about the simulations. I quite enjoy the science in your lab. We've been studying Resilin. It is a natural protein. It has a long lifetime of use and a very high resilience to failure. I am familiar with Resilins. They perform different functions depending on their type and the insect in which they are found. I know that Resilin is responsible for the sound from cicadas and moths. And, in the fruit fly Resilin provides structural support during its repeated movements. So you model different Resilins using molecular dynamic simulations? We model the molecular form of the Resilin and study it using a supercomputer. I don't mean to flatter you, but you are more scientifically well-read than most college presidents. Thank you. You have taught me a lot about molecular engineering. Please tell me about your results. We found that all types of Resilin share a similarity in that they are polar. Polar? So, Resilin molecules attract water and become wet? Why is this important? This is critical. The more wet these proteins are, the more resistant they are to failure. Their wetness also makes them less stiff. So they are able to deform more readily. Uh huh. So, this is why insects can flap their wings very fast or can vibrate their voice boxes for long times? Exactly. And if we understand these natural proteins, we should also be able to make synthetic rubber materials that are as durable as resilins. I like it. This is the basis of bio-inspired design, I suppose. Yes. And I hope that my students' work will lead to bio-inspired rubber materials. It is fascinating to speak with you, Professor Puri. Very educational. Thank you. I must be off to a meeting. We have a brouhaha among some of our staff about their office sizes. Take care, Professor Puri. Bye, Dr. L.